Harry, where are we on the Jurgen Klopp voodoo doll, mate? Hang on. Hello? Oh, Erling Haaland, how is my goal machine? You want a new contract? Well, how much are you talking, mate? 180 grand a week? That's too much, mate. It's too much. I tell you what, Viveke just got 135 a week. How about that? You're better than him. Yeah, all right. You're probably right. What about uh, 150? 165. Oh, you're killing me here, mate. I tell you what, I'll give it to you, but you better keep scoring. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to Season 6, Episode 4 of the First Star Challenge with Legion United as we look to win the Champions League with the club for the first time. And today, two massive games away to Manchester United in the league and then Real Madrid in the Champions League group stage. It's already shaping up as a battle for top spot of that, uh, of that group. But as you've just seen, Erling Haaland wanted a new contract. We've given him a new contract, 160,000 of your English pounds every week. Uh, you can see here lots and lots of bonuses, lots and lots of landmark for goals. And too, if he keeps scoring the way he has been, I'll happily pay it. If uh, the goals dry up like they did in season one with him at the club, then we'll have a problem. Um, but five-year deal, hopefully, I would like to think in the next five years we will win a Champions League title. So hopefully this is the contract now that when he is the man that will fire us to that Champions League title. Uh, now before we get to today's game, just one to catch you up on in between episodes. That was against Southampton in the league. Of course, they robbed us. Well, we kind of robbed us. Actually, Erling Haaland robbed us of the Premier League title last year. Uh, it's ironic we're talking about him right now, isn't it? Let's see how we've got any sort of level of revenge uh, for the lost Premier League title. We took an early lead when Mariba found some space at the edge of the penalty area. And doubled her lead when Abel Ruiz tucked home a loose ball. We had a third a few minutes later when Jared Bowen's delicate touch put Haaland in on goal. Before some wonderful one-touch football saw Ruiz go to fourth before half-time. And substitute Bogat picked out Bowen's run to make it five late on. Oh, how we made up for that missing title, didn't we? Absolutely stunning football. Some stunning goals in this one. We, we, we're beginning to look like Pep Guardiola's Barcelona, I'll be honest. We just are playing some sensational football. Mariba, Ruiz with a double. Erling Haaland and Jared Bowen with one at the end there as well. Played them off the pitch. Um... And if we can keep this up, well, I mean, it's always impossible to keep this up for the whole season. But if we could, oh, we're going to take some beating, that is for sure. If we look at what that means for the league table, Liverpool has already played this game week. Uh, but if we see here, they have drawn at home to Arsenal. So they've dropped points. We have a chance with a win to go clear top against Manchester United. Now, that's not going to be an easy game. They're sitting there in fifth. So they're still a good team. And we can see the Champions League group there. It is very much a, uh, a, a sort of a two-division group, isn't it? There's us and Real Madrid for the top. And there's uh, Moscow and Galatasaray battling it out for Europa League, I would suggest. Um, but let's go and have a look at what we expect here against Manchester United. We are the favourites, even though we are at Old Trafford. I don't think we've won at Old Trafford before. Maybe we did once. But you can see here, we don't have a great record against them. Seven losses, one draw, just the two victories. They are a Massimilio Allegri coach team these days. Um, so the Italians come in to take charge of this season. Uh, he makes almost as much money as uh, Harling. Look at that. Uh, so there we go. That is that. They're a balanced standard playing style. If I have a quick look at what we're expecting here. We are expecting this sort of a formation from them. Um, they do like to attack down the wings. We can see there their form they sort of heat map. Just relatively standard, isn't it, really? Um, nothing particularly stands out. There's their passing network and their key passes as well. And let's have a look at the team that we're sending out to hopefully get the three points here. Now, obviously, we have a big eye on the Real Madrid game. Um... So this is a sort of a more of a second string team, but it's Onana in goal, it's Zagre, it's Dean, it's Wood, and it's Juan Basaka against his former club, of course, as the back former. Calmont and Mariba go in midfield. It's Under, Renia, and Bowen with Liao up top. Let's go. I tell you what, as far as second string teams go, that's not too bad, is it? Um, so yeah, we'll take that and run. Uh, so that's everybody's lining up as expected. Expect to go there and prove a point today, boys. Um, pick up where you left off last time. I guess we just go with that, some calm, we have faith. It's really, I mean, we're playing really, really well. So we just, uh, just got to try and keep it going as long as we can. Now, this is Onana's 100th league appearance for Leeds United, and what a signing he has been at the, in that for us as well. Um, did, of course, make that crucial error uh, last season that cost us against Liverpool, didn't he? One of the other sort of just it didn't go right the last episode of last season, did it? But there we go. Other than that, he's been an absolute star for us. Arthur sort of walked his way in there. Shot goes past the post, and everybody can take a big sigh of relief there. Let's tell him to get creative here. Try and get ourselves in this game. United, ball to the back post. It's headed towards goal. Wilford Ndidi has stuck it in the back of the net, and that is not the start we wanted. 
We need a reaction now, don't we? Um, let's tell him to show some passion, and hopefully this might just wake us up a little bit. Not the best. You've got to go with your man there, Zagre. It's not the first time we've seen Zagre from a set piece be exposed, is it? We've come straight back for a kickoff highlight. Now, are we going to get ourselves back into this game? Or are we about to find ourselves with a lot of work to do here? Onana out there for Wood. Wood for Dean. Dean in there for Mariba. What can he do? Looks wide there. He finds Bowen. Bowen, can he get across into the box? We're going to have Liao in there looking. Goes past one. Goes past two. Bowen. Go, oh, it's still there. And it's hacked to clear Zagre in central midfield. I don't know what he's doing there. McCalmont. Can he get a ball for Mariba? He can. Back for Mariba. It's driven ahead there. But this is becoming a long old highlight now, isn't it? And that will end it. Uh, signs of life, but we'd like to see a little bit more from us, I think. We might give it a demand more here if we can. Unders looking frustrated. We haven't had any possession. We might need to just tweak the way we're playing here a little bit, I think. Let's tighten up these lines, get higher up, and get stuck in. They're having far too much possession for my liking. Um, another highlight, starting in the Manchester United, attacking third. And Ketia with the ball. Dean robs him. There you go. Not good enough for Leeds United, mate. Don't know what you're doing there. Um... Liao, back there for Mariba. Mariba, back for Renia. Renia goes past one. Renia goes past two. Can he get a little bit of quality into the box now? He goes back for Mariba. Mariba shuffle, shuffles it on. It's Liao! <laughs> Recently, everything he touches turns to a goal, but not on this occasion, unfortunately. Again, let's demand a little bit more. Are we exploiting anything? We're not. Um, I'm going to say, I wonder if we should be exploiting the middle, but... We will exploit the middle. I think we looked okay just passing through the middle of them there. And if I think back, the highlights we've had have tended to be going through the middle of them uh, and sort of looking for overlaps. And Jared Bowen's picked up an injury. Just what we didn't want, to be honest. Um, so we'll bring Abel Ruiz on for him. Hopefully that Bowen injury isn't too serious. Uh, we've got faith in Abel Ruiz to come on and do what he does, and that's score goals. But we find ourselves defending again potentially here. Too much space for the fullback overlapping. Pattern towards goal. I don't know how that stayed out. Onana panics and hacks it clear. Uh, it looked very, very close, but it has managed to stay out. And this has not been a good half from us. We certainly did not pick up where we left off against Southampton. If anything, uh, we're playing the complete opposite of that wonderful performance. Aggressive, boys. Show me something different this second half. That was absolutely horrid. And I'll be witnessing our first poor performance of the season. And will that then sort of make things fall off the rails a little bit for us here. From looking at things on the bench, the ways on the bench to change things, we, I'd like to bring somebody on the play down the right. We could move one Basaka forward, maybe. Um, and that would mean bringing Johnny Suto on the play right back. And I'm not sure if that solves any of our problems. There's a ball. Under gets it back there for Wood. Get rid, mate. He does. Mariba. Under. Back to Mariba. Out there for one Basaka now. Can he stride forward? Can he pick a pass? What's he going to do? He goes past a man. It's tackled away, but uh, Renia picks it up. He drives in towards goal, and Renia, that is silly, mate. All right, we're doing silly things with the ball. Let's lower this tempo down. Next shout will be a concentrate, I think. De Gea has the ball. They try to play it out from the back. Can we prevent them from doing this is the big question now, isn't it? Ball forward. Jao Felix has it at his feet. And we're just looking a little bit slow to everything right now, aren't we? Okay, Chiesa's in, and Chiesa doubles the lead. And we have looked absolutely shocking, and we're going to have to change something. Um, so we're going to change to uh, this, no, not that formation, this formation. Liao can go up there. Uh, we'll change that. Abel Ruiz can go as an advance forward. Uh, Unda, we want to take off for Bogac. Uh, attacking midfielder on support for me, please, mate. That all looks good. Oh, no, Renia. We want Renia in there, don't we? Um, so we'll get Bogac off. Renia goes up in that position. Uh, let's get on... Let's get, let's get on Bogac anyway. Uh, and we'll do that. We'll stick him up there. Can you get forward as a Mazella for me, please, mate? And McCalmont as a deep-lying playmaker. You're going to need to sit a little bit more for me, though. Um, and that all looks relatively good. I don't, we want Renier as a Tricortista. These guys will just make sure they're marking. Yes, they are. And let's hope that we can change it up with a change in formation because we've just looked absolutely shocking so far this game. Uh, I did fear it was coming, I'll be honest. Obviously, the pickup we left off from last game has not worked as a team talk because, I mean, you saw the highlights. This is not how we've been playing anything like it. Uh, I wonder if we need to be defending with a little bit more width, having seen that as well. They've kind of got down the sides of us a little bit there. 
Let's concentrate, boys. At least we're looking motivated, so that gives me a little bit of science for hope. Um, we'll counter press. Uh, we will higher line. We'll get stuck in. I mean, really, it's just got to be to just snap into tackles, try and win the ball back. Zagre's not having a good game. Let's get Brad Daric out there on the left. He's a more attacking player in any case. And that's it. Subs made. We've just got to hope now that these guys have it in them to try and turn this around. And I'll be honest, I haven't seen anything in them that suggests they're going to do that. The match stats look relatively even, but we have not had so much as a highlight. Um, Alright, let's get balls into the box nice and early. Let's try playing through the middle. And then on the overlap, get the ball into the box. But again, it's another Manchester United highlight. We have not shown up. Liverpool have dropped points, and we've let them get away with it. Of course it went in. This is an appalling performance. Hannibal Mujabi, i never heard of him. But it's a nice free kick, isn't it? Can't really blame Onana for that one. Um, and I just don't know what's happened here, guys. Really sorry about this one. I did not see this performance coming. Hopefully, we're going to get over this very, very quickly against Real Madrid. Because that, my friends, was an absolutely disgusting, horrible performance. And of all the teams that happened against, it was Manchester United. And just to rub f***ing salt into the wounds, Bowen's gone for four months with a broken ankle. Of oh, for... All right, guys, we'll be back. Real Madrid next. Okay, welcome back. Let's put that disgrace behind us and move on here. The Champions League, we're hosting Real Madrid. Now, being the home game, we really need to try and take three points from this, don't we? Uh, we are the, not the favourites, which is a little bit frustrating, though. If anybody saw that Manchester United game, I don't blame them. We have beaten them once before, and that was, of course, the European Super Cup, wasn't it? A few seasons back. Zinedine Zidane is their manager. Uh, a balanced, standard style of play. He is quite the manager, isn't he? Old Zizou. Um, have a quick look at what we're expecting from them here. We are expecting them to come out in that same formation that, uh, that Manchester United played against us. So, hopefully, they were watching. Love to attack through the middle, though. Um, so, we'll try and defend narrowly to try and prevent them space... Uh, playing through the middle. See their passing networks there. They're very patient. It looks like some very heavy white lines, which I'm assuming means that they pass that way a lot. Um, I don't know for sure. If you know that, do let me know in the comments. Uh, we can see their key passes there. Um, what I don't like necessarily is not many key passes, but they scored four goals. They obviously picked their moment very well. Um, so we're going to have to be very much on our uh, on our game for this one. This is a team we're sending out. It's Onana in goal. It's Zagre, Prong, Greenwich, Wood, and Mahoney as the back four. Phillips and Mariba go in midfield. Baker has to play on the right with the injuries now. To but Bowen was scheduled to play in here. That was sort of the way I'd, I'd work the games out. So Unders match fatigue. Bowen's obviously injured. With Alina, it's not quite re ready to come back yet either. Ruiz has to basically play, you know, share the uh, the left sided role with Vervake. Um So we're going to have to give Baker a game here. It's just kind of the way it works out in my head. Trust me, it's, I've wondered all down. <laughs> didn't explain it very well, but Baker goes here. He's never let us down. This is definitely his biggest test so far. So he'll go on the right with Renier and Vavake on the left. It's Haaland up top. We need to be a lot, lot better. So everybody is playing as expected. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, what do we want to say here? Go out there and prove a point today. I'm going to... Can we get like some passionate... Um, what did uh, he say again? Go out there and prove a point. Um... I expect to see better from you tonight. I think that's maybe the best thing to do. Some calm. We have faith. Um... I was tempted to sort of find them all and make them come into training. In the end, they just sort of thought, let's just just let it go. That's probably just the best thing to do. Just frozen it, just let it go, and move on with our lives now and pretend that game never happened. Um, it's just it's so frustrating on the back of Liverpool dropping points that you know that's when it came. Uh, but you know, it's it, I guess it's okay as long as we can bounce back quickly. Uh, and Bernardoni's their goalkeeper. Now, I'm pretty sure we had him as a backup in FM19 at Everton, did we not? Uh, so that's not the best goalkeeper, that is for sure. Uh, obviously, the rest of their team is going to more than make up for it. Mahoney pounces on a loose ball there. It's sort of hacked clear to nobody, uh, and that's not the most promising of starts. Is it Tonali over there? We should get to that. Can we get to that? No. Coleman has it. Can we get a foot in here? Uh, trying to bring it infield over the top there for Everton. Can we get a block in here? We can. Mahoney does really well against his former club there in Onana. Oh, what's happened? Oh, Onana's dropped a clanger. I, oh, Onana, that is absolutely disgusting. And it's just not going to be our episode, is it? 
Mahoney did so well here. A good tackle. Uh, of course, we signed him from Everton. Four comes in. Onana's there, and he's, it's gone straight through his legs. Unbelievable. <coughs> you, you can't believe what's happened, can you? It's... Uh, all right, come on. Let's, let's bounce back. It's just one goal. It's a fresh game. Don't worry about the last one, Aussie villain. Here we go with Zagre. Back there for Calvin Phillips. Phillips, crossfield ball for Mahoney. Can he get something into the box here? He gets tackled is what happens. They lump it forward. We're going to pick that up with Pong Greenwich. Down for Zagre to Phillips. All right, let's build and go again here, boys. Lavake on the ball now. What can he do? Goes past his man. Can he get a cross in for Haaland? He can. Haaland's there. Straight into the arms of Bernardoni. That's a little bit better, though, isn't it? That shows a bit of attacking, a uh, bit of attacking threat. Is the highlight going to continue here? He's rolled it out to absolutely nobody. <laughs> Lumped it forward. We picked it up again. Renia, Harland, he's in here. Erling Harland, and again, he's offside in any case. But maybe the weight of his new contract weighing him down there, and he couldn't find the back of the net. Let's tell him to get creative here. We've not been completely outplayed here. It's uh, it's going to be that clangor, isn't it? It's you just get the feeling sometimes it's you know it's just not your day, uh, and I feel like this is just not Leeds United's day. Um, maybe I was overconfident after seeing sort of how well we had been doing, but it's just it's just because of come out of the blue, we just look absolutely woeful for some reason. Melito getting forward. Can we get a tackle in on him? We can't. And Domble. Tonali and Ndombele exchanging passes. They definitely like to go through the middle, don't they? Uh, so hopefully we can continue. There's Targre with a nice tackle out there for Vivake. For Phillips, can we get it forward? We can. Oh, Haaland. I mean, he's done. I can see what he's trying to do there. But they are just on top of us right now, aren't they? That's all right. You can shoot from there, mate. You can shoot from there all day. I wonder if we need to look to exploit the flanks. Or, or what do we... No, let's just leave it. Let's just leave it. Um... Demand a little bit more here. Come on, boys. Again, we're not we're not playing well. Uh, now, is that because we're not being allowed to play well? Or is it just a confidence thing? I mean, surely confidence doesn't go after one game like that. Um, we need to come up with a way to, to, to get some, some uh, attacking play here, though, don't we? I'm wondering if we look to exploit the flanks. And... And pass into space. Because they're, they're pushing right up the field, aren't they? I think that's what he's offside. Is he not? Oh, I think Zagre's played him. I know he's offside. Uh, I think that's what we need to do. We need to exploit the flanks. And we need to pass into space. Because uh, they're definitely pushing really, really high up on us, aren't they? So if we can if we can get in behind them down in wide areas. We've got pace in wide areas as well. Yeah, he's just offside. I thought for a second then that... Uh, is it Zagre? No, Mahoney may have played him on. But um, not to be, luckily enough for us. All right, here we go. Can we get back level right on the stroke of half time? Vivake pulls it back. Haaland's there. Oh, Haaland. He cannot hit a barn door today. How has he missed that? Yes, it's a good save, but he shouldn't have had a chance to save it. Phillips now with the corner. Ball in. It's headed away again. And Real Madrid come away with it. We're over time here. There we go. Referee does blow it up. So, I mean... We're an Onana howler away from... Uh, I'm going to say unlucky because we are, we are actually doing okay. Uh, we're obviously not playing particularly well, but as a team, we're not doing too badly here. So I do wonder if um, we just need something to go our way and we click back into gear. Haaland is having an absolute nightmare up there. Do we make a change? Maybe give it to the hour mark or so. Zagre, there's a ball down the line for Valvake. Valvake brings it forward, tackled away, but Renia has it. We have not seen Renia, have we? There's a ball forward for Valvake. Can he find Haaland? No, he cannot. It's blocked. And can we, oh, is it going to come back the other way now? Komen cuts inside. Can we put pressure on here? They just seem to have a little bit too much time and space. Oh, there we go. Mariba's pounced there. Now, can Mariba get a little bit of quality? Mahoney back for Woods. In there for Mariba. Mariba gets it tackled away, but does win it back. Renia has it now. Renia. Renia goes over for Valvake. Can he get a ball? There's not really anybody there. Back post, maybe. It's Baker. Baker! Oh, the youngsters had it saved onto the crossbar, it looked like. This is this is a lot better, though. Come on, boys. Let's get creative. I think we're going to have to take Haaland off. He's still only playing a 6-3. He's missed so many chances. Um, and you, I just have this horrible feeling we're going to just completely lose form on the back of that Manchester United debacle. Uh, we've only got Edmondson on the bench. Ideally, I would have had Liel there, to be honest, but it is what it is. Um, 
Mahoney's not having the best game. We don't, I mean, Suter's the backup right back. I don't know if we want to do that. Um, and a part of me does wonder, does everybody else match your ratings improve if Haaland starts sticking away a few chances? Let's give it a concentrate, perhaps. I mean, we're dominating the game at this point. Look at how many shots we're having, and we cannot find a way into the back of the net. Let's take it off that. Um, let's get stuck in as well here. I wonder if we go, if we start putting a little bit more pressure on them. We've got to try and do something, don't we? Try and win the ball back a little bit higher up the pitch than just trying to contain them. Can we get to that first? No, we can't. And Doble to Tenali exchanging passes again. Can we get a foot in? No, we can't. Tenali again in Dominic exchange passes. How have they got two men over there? Aiden Hazard's in and Onana makes a save for once in his life. Um, what else can we do here? What else can we do? I'm wondering if Renia isn't particularly working as a number 10. If we sort of go two up top, stick him up top, and maybe use him as sort of a, a, like a deep lying forward or something like that. Let's try that. I mean, we've got really nothing to lose at this point. Um... Deep lying forward on support. So he'll still drop back in, but I'm wondering if he just might find a little bit more space doing it that way. Um, we've got a highlight here. Can we can we nick a goal? Zagre back for Phil. I mean, it's not really nicking a goal. We've we've had the more chances. There's a good ball for Baker. The youngster, David Baker, sticks it away. Go on, Baker boy. I said he never lets us down. And in this 80th minute, he's popped up and drawn us level against Real Madrid. And it's deserved. You cannot say, I don't think, on this second half performance, we haven't deserved to at least be level. It's a good ball from Calvin Phillips. Baker with a wonderful first touch, a great finish across the goalkeeper, and we're back in this tie, and we're back in this group as well. Come on, boys, come on. Work to do now defending a corner. We did do work on defending corners. Onana makes up for his clangor. Um, I am wondering now if uh, Rennie is not having a great game still. We've got Ruiz on the bench. In this game situation, seems still not using. Baker goes past one. Can he square it back? We're queuing up in the middle. It's Edmondson and Edmondson turns the game on his motherfucking head. Go on, boys. Two to one. Much more like it. Much, much more like it. This is the Leeds United that we've come to know love in this season. Much, much better. David Baker, the kid from the academy, has turned Real Madrid on its head. And a wonderful ball. And Edmondson, another academy graduate, taps it in. And it is 2-1 Leeds United. And we've spun the game on its head in a minute. That's more like it, boys. Come on. All right, let's start and close this thing down now. Um, I don't know if we want to change anything defensively, but we'll just slow it down. We will lower this tempo down. We'll waste a bit more time. We'll be a little bit more disciplined. And yeah, let's hope that we can see this out now. Two minutes of regular time to go. Come on, boys. Let's not let's not throw this away. Let's not throw this away. And Domble over the top there. Can we get to that? No, we can't. Hazard is in there. Got, they're queuing up in the middle as well. There's a man at the edge of the area coming in. And Milinkovic Savic ties it up. I was worried about that, I've got to be honest. Uh, there's a big part of me that thought, just leave it, just leave it. But I didn't, and I probably should have, if I was going to go defensive, I probably should have gone defensive. Oh, that's a pain in the backside, isn't it? 2-2. Two, two. And, yeah, with the uh, game to come at New Camp, that's not a great result for us, is it? We had too many, yeah, we needed... We needed Renier, I think, to sort of keep coming back there. Maybe if he was a number 10, <laughs> he would have actually would have actually been there. Uh, all right, so let's bring Ruiz on for Renier. He's not having a great day. Um, complete forward. Okay, complete forward and support. I don't hate that. Uh, and see if we can if we can get back into this or get the lead back. Let's go back to attacking. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, and I just, now I really, really regret. I sort of did the half ass go defensive, didn't I? I didn't close out our lines, and we paid a price. I think I've stuffed up this episode on two occasions, to be honest. I think my team talk against Man United wasn't good enough. And, yeah, I mean, well, I'm going to blame Anana for this one. <laughs> so there we go. Useful Leeds United draw with Real Madrid. I mean, also, I mean, you think at how many chances Haaland's had there. There's, there's definitely um, some positives to come out of it. But like I say, I think this episode, I need to hold my hands up and be like, boys, I'm sorry, I've messed that one up. I got the team talk wrong against Man United. We got absolutely pumped in the backside. And I didn't, I mean, the SC Onana era, that, if that hadn't happened, you wonder how the game would have played out. But 
if you go defensive, I've got to go properly defensive and close up those lines. And I didn't do that. And I think that's cost us. So gives us a little bit of work to do in the group now. In all likelihood, we're going to have to go to Real Madrid and we're going to have to win that game. And that's going to be tough. But 2-2 is not the worst. Um, it's just disappointing having having had the lead to kind of throw it all away there a little bit. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We'll be back uh, next time. Enjoy your weekend if you're watching live. And we'll come back, I think, for Brighton away. That should be a relatively comfortable game for us. And then we go to the Bernabeu to hopefully uh, make up for that result. Get the three points in, in Madrid. Uh, and then it'll be happy days on top of the league. Until then, guys, I've been Ozzy Villan. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.